Pork belly is a really indulgent ingredient, um, and usually we're trying to get it to be all nice and crispy with the crackling, but it's really good to braise as well. So what we're gonna do today is we do a bit of a Chinese-inspired recipe with a soy caramel maple sauce. So what we're gonna do first is get our pork belly. And I'm just gonna get rid of that layer of skin because we're not doing crackling. We don't want it on the, the pork. And then I'm just gonna take the pork belly and cut it into about three centimeter pieces into a few long strips. And then each of them into nice big chunks. So now that the pork belly is prepped, I'm just gonna go in with a little oil and some garlic and ginger. And just cook that for about 30 seconds to a minute until it's nice and fragrant. We add the pork, so pork straight into the pan. And just give that a stir to coat it all. So that's all coated, so we can go in with the maple syrup, then some soy sauce, and then some fish sauce. I've got some cinnamon quills and star anise, I'll tumble those in, and then water. Just give that a stir to combine. So I've brought it to the boil, and I'm just gonna skim the surface and take any of that foam from the top. I'm gonna turn the heat down to low, and we're gonna simmer it for an hour and a half uncovered. And the idea is, is that as the liquid reduces, the pork is gonna braise and become really tender, and we're gonna be left with a lovely sticky soy maple caramel. So while that's cooking down, I'm just gonna get on with the pickles. So I've got some baby cucumbers or cukes. I'm just gonna cut them into small batons. And then I've got some spring onions, and we'll use roughly about the same size as the cucumber, and just cut those into little batons as well. And into the bowl and then some red chili. If you want, you can take the seeds out if you don't want it to be too hot, but I'm just gonna slice quite thinly. We'll go into the bowl as well. I've just got a bit of rice wine vinegar and some sugar and a bit of salt as well. Now just give that a bit of a toss through. And this is a bit of a quick pickle, so we can just set this aside and it's gonna lightly pickle while our pork continues to cook down. The pork is beautifully tender and that sauce is reduced down and become really nice and sticky and concentrated. So we can just take that off the heat. So I've got some coriander. If you're one of those people who don't like coriander, you can either just leave it out or you could use some fresh mint. And also some Thai basil, which gives it a really nice bit of freshness and a bit of bite as well. And we'll just mix that in to the pickle to kind of create a bit of a salad. Just toss that through. So I've just got some steamed rice here and that beautiful pork to get some of those big pieces. And make sure you get a bit of that sauce and pour it over the rice as well. And because that's so rich, we're just gonna serve it with a bit of that pickled salad. So just grab a nice handful. And there it is, sticky pork belly, really indulgent, and a fresh salad. I think that's gonna make you really happy.